Hello, my name is Antonio Editato. I'm the spokesperson of the Opera Collaboration. Opera is a, a sort of global enterprise. It's uh, three big groups. We have Italians from INFN and different Italian universities. Then we have a Japanese group around the Nagoya group. And there are a few other groups from Europe, and uh, particular from France, from Germany, from Switzerland, and I'm from the University of Bern. Neutrinos are elementary particles, they do not have electric uh, charge and they interact uh, very weakly with matter, with uh, so-called weak interactions and they are capable of uh, passing the entire Earth without uh, interacting. Neutrinos have been uh, in the last 30 years uh, unveiling many interesting features in, uh, in particle physics. Uh, at the beginning uh, we thought that the neutrinos uh, didn't have uh, a mass and uh, it has been uh, uh, with the observation of the uh, flux of neutrinos coming from the sun that the people have been uh, starting uh, to think that uh, neutrinos could have a mass and uh, uh, that they could change nature uh, during their travel path. They could uh, uh, transform themselves uh, uh, in between uh, three different types of neutrinos, which are the electron neutrino, the muon neutrino, and the tau neutrino. Neutrinos are also linked to many aspects of cosmology, to the birth of the universe. They may be related to the asymmetry between the matter and the antimatter in the universe, and they are also the most common particles in the universe. So the, uh, the interesting aspect of this measurement was a combination between techniques used in high energy physics, uh, for neutrino detections, the uh, high energy beam which is sent to Gran Sasso, which has the unique uh, property in the world to provide a very high uh, rate of neutrino interactions uh, that we can detect uh, in, uh, in our opera detector. And this is uh, related to the fact that the neutrino, uh, this neutrino beam is a high energy neutrino beam. And then the other uh, very interesting uh, aspect was to combine all this uh, with uh, metrology techniques. So techniques related to the measurement of the space and the time, which are commonly used in other fields, uh, but they were never used in particle physics at this uh, level of accuracy. Well, we were uh, very surprised. We were expecting, uh, we did uh, all uh, um, this uh, analysis in a blind way. We were expecting uh, to find uh, negative results, in, indeed. And then we were very surprised to uh, um, detect this anticipation on neutrinos with respect to uh, what you could compute assuming uh, the light on the same uh, travel path. So the effect that we measured is equivalent to uh, 60 nanoseconds uh, over a, a time of flight of 2.4 milliseconds. Or if you want to express it in terms of distance, uh, it's an anticipation of 20 meters over 730 kilometers. So the uh, MINOS experiment uh, in 2007 published a paper uh, with a result which is similar to our result, but it is uh, not accurate enough to be uh, considered uh, as a, a real result. It could be also uh, compatible with a negative result. Deliberately, we have chosen uh, not to interpret our results in terms of uh, uh, new physics. If this result is confirmed, then of course it will have some deep implications in terms of uh, uh, new physics. We are just uh, presenting today our result as experimentalists. As far as we are concerned today, this is a sort of side measurement, side analysis. Uh, since Opera detects neutrinos rather well, uh, we are also able to make some precision measurements, and in particular the, the measurement of the speed of neutrinos from CERN to Grand Sass. Well, the result actually this was got us astonished because we didn't expect to find such uh, an anomaly. The anomaly is that uh, it seems from our measurement that the neutrino goes a little faster than light and this is somehow 20 parts per million which could, may look like a tiny effect but it's uh, according to the sensitivity of our measurement, it's a rather precise measurement. You know, we would like to be very prudent at the moment. We would like just to say that we made a measurement, this measurement is accurate, and therefore we would leave to the entire community, which is actually the goal of this seminar today, the, such a way that the, the whole community could tell us 
and give us interpretations or suggestions, and certainly, one thing which is fundamental, redo the experiment in different conditions, different groups, different people, and hopefully to find the same result.